Kit Harington sported one of the most iconic hairstyles of the 2010s as Jon Snow from the series Game of Thrones. And although it's now not as popular as it was when Game of Thrones was airing, it is still a highly sought after look desired by many. And with longer natural hairstyles coming back into popularity as we approach 2022, the world is going to need more options than just the Timothy Chalamet haircut. So we are gonna take a look into the past and revisit this iconic hairstyle. So if you're somebody with long, naturally wavy or curly hair and looking to achieve this Jon Snow inspired wet curly hair look, look no further because that's this week's episode of Jesse's Barbershop. So, for this look, and any other look that requires this wet finish, the name of the game is going to be locking in as much moisture as possible. And if you're familiar with the channel and myself, you'll know that I have very dry hair. So we're gonna have to use a product that does a really good job of maintaining moisture and combating frizz. So what I've chosen to use is Bumble and Bumble's Anti-Humidity Gel Oil. This is the first time that I've used this on the channel, but over the past couple of months or so, it's been my go-to product for maintaining my really, really dry, frizzy hair. So we're gonna be applying a generous amount and how much you're gonna be using is completely dependent on your hair type. However, a general rule anytime you're trying to achieve a wet look is more is more. And with my dense, coarse hair type, it's very important that I make sure everything is fully saturated so I'm not holding back. Now I'm just applying the product through the hair, making sure not to miss the underside. That's a common mistake people make. Don't just put the product on the top layer of your hair. Make sure that the entirety of the head is fully saturated, especially with a drier hair texture like mine. Inconsistencies in saturation will really show in the final look. So now what we're doing is just roughly blocking in the direction and partings that we want to dry the hair in. And once you're satisfied with that, we move on to the next step, which is going to be blow dry. And we're going to be using this, which is called a diffuser. It's basically an attachment that goes onto the blow dryer and just kind of softens the airflow. So rather than the blow dryer just blowing your hair everywhere, you can kind of maintain the structure and shape that you had set it in uh, when it was wet. And that's going to be a very important concept as we go through this style, because now that we've applied the product, it's basically creating a cast around our hair strands. And that cast is what's going to be locking in the moisture as we dry our hair with this diffuser. So as you can tell, I don't have a very clearly defined curl pattern. My hair doesn't naturally fall into nice ringlets. It's a little bit chaotic and crazy, but we're going to try to take advantage of that to achieve this specific look. Hey, quick teaching point here. As you can see, especially when I start out, I'm holding the blow dryer pretty far away from my hair. The reason for this involves that cast that I'd mentioned that the product creates. As the product is drying around these hair strands and creating the cast, we want to disturb that process as minimally as possible. This is how we're gonna maintain that shine to give it that wet look appearance. Does that make sense? A good tip for this is point the blow dryer at your face. If it's too hot and you can't handle it, you're probably holding it too close. So back it up to a distance where it's comfortable and you can still feel the heat, and then you should be good to go. We're back and we're just going to continue this process all around the hair, making sure we maintain that same distance and just be really patient with it because it does take a little bit of time and that's okay. But as you can see, as we continue the process, the look's starting to come together. And now that things are like 70 to 90% dry, we can start manipulating the hair a little bit. What I'm doing is just lifting the hair at the hairline and setting it in that volumized state, trying to emulate this like smoother little bit that he's got uh, towards the front of his hair here. And once that's done, I just finish drying and begin to mold my hair into the shape that I want it because now that it's dry and that cast is set, we don't have to worry as much about pulling that curl pattern out. And then that's pretty much it. The curls may loosen up throughout the day, but for the most part, if you don't mess with it too much and leave that cast, then it'll maintain that wet look for as long as it's in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Jon Snow inspired wet look hair tutorial. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button to let me know that you liked it so I can maybe make more of these videos in the future. But until then, thanks for watching and we'll hopefully see you in the next video.